Hey everyone, Ken here, CCG Vlog, three event weekend. We're gonna do a recap of last weekend, let you guys know what happened, but I wanna do the upcoming events first and foremost in case you guys only decide to listen to this. So the next two minutes is your most important minutes. Uh, three events this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three different locations. Friday, we're at the VFW in Wooddale. Saturday, we are at the Viking Lodge in Tinley Park. We haven't been down to Tinley Park in a little while, so definitely come down and see us there. And then Sunday, we're going to be at the Bridgeview Community Center. Everybody loves the Bridgeview Community Center. It is by far one of our most popular locations for tournaments as well as cash games. Um, so that's the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No Thursday event this week, but we do have... Ba, 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 we do have the return of Thursday Night Poker. For those of you who don't know, Thursday Night Poker is our... Um, premiere, uh, we premiere the final table of whatever final table we're doing or cash game or whatever the case may be from the RFID table. So CCG Poker Live, um, you can watch it on YouTube or Facebook. It's a premiere, which means it will fire right at seven o'clock. It'll like count down three, two, one, ah, premiere, ba, 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 ba. And uh, it's kind of like a watch party on Facebook. So we all kind of get to experience it the first time right then and there. After the, uh, you know, the the video is over or the, the filming is over, um, then it just gets uploaded to Facebook or YouTube. So you can watch either of them there. You don't have to watch it at seven o'clock on Thursday night. If you get there late, no big deal. You can always start it over. Um, it's kind of fun because then you can kind of comment as if it were live, but it's not. And the players that are in it get to watch it as well, which I think is super fun and kind of interesting. So anyways, this Thursday night, 7 p.m., Facebook and YouTube, you can watch the premiere of the, probably the first half of the Titan final table. Which is pretty awesome Titan final table. Um, with that being said, the Titan tournament was a massive, massive success. It's like 423 entries, um, 20K in the prize pool. Um, it was awesome. It was great. 36 players made it to day two. That included the double bags, which means um, there were like really 41 players who got there, but six of them were double bags. Ergo, 36 players into... Uh, day two. So it was awesome. Uh, Hilton Garden Inn was a really good turnout all weekend. Cash games and obviously the Titan tournament was bang out. But even on Sunday where it was just regular tournaments, um, Bounty had good numbers. Um, Sunday Special had good numbers. Cash games were great. 2-5 uh, game got off on Sunday uh, as well, which kind of to, kind of seems to be the new normal at CCG is that we're doing a 2-5 game on Sundays and Friday afternoons. PLO is starting. So let's just take that and dive right into what's going to happen this weekend. So three events this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's uh, April 23rd, 24, 25. You can see it down on my little screen over here. I also put the next um, three weekends worth of events. So if you want to kind of schedule out what's going on, you can see the next three weeks of events and I'll continue to put more up. I, I know I've been a little lacking on that, so I'm working on getting better at putting events out um, sooner, especially now that it seems like numbers are starting to, to reverse and trend in a better better way, so I don't think there'll be any shutdown coming soon. I'm not gonna what as soon as I say that, they're gonna announce tomorrow that we're gonna close everything down again. Anyways, I'm not bitter at all. Friday, April 23rd, we're at the VFW in Wooddale. 2 p.m., we've got the $20 early bird. Always a good turnout for the bird in um, Wooddale. 60 to 65 players is pretty standard, so definitely come out for that. And then 6.30, the feature tournament on Friday is the 120 deep stack. Again, typically with the deep stack in Wooddale, they got to restrict it, meaning they're only going to take 42 players um, before they shut it off. So it got close last two times um, to 40 players in the deep stack. So... You know, we'll kind of see how that goes and play from there. They really won't finish if it gets into like the 50 or 60 range, but we'll see what happens. So who knows? Um, don't take that any other way other than uh, if you're running super late, like you're trying to register at 830 or like right before the break ends, text me and make sure that they're not capped. I would say it's a possibility. So just I would hate for anybody to show up and not get in because we always say as long as you register before 830, 100% you will get in. Always, there's always an exception to every rule, and that is the exception. Fridays, deep stacks, they don't start until 6.30, late registration until 8.30, they got to be out of there at 1 o'clock. We're going to do our best to make sure it happens. But it's a good problem to have because the deep stack is so popular there that it's a possibility that we have to turn players away. 
which sucks for everybody in general, that means it's gonna be a good prize pool. So check it out, Friday night, deep stacks, go, go, go. Uh, Saturday, we're down at the Viking Lodge in Tinley Park, that's right in downtown Tinley, off of Oak Park Ave and like 176, right across the street from the Mickey's, or kind of down the street from the Mickey's. If you haven't eaten at Mickey's, I highly recommend it. They have Green River, uh, Green Valley River Soda, which is great, but they got really good hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, kind of Chicago street food, so check that out if you are interested. Let us know. Saturday, 2 p.m., it's a stack tournament day, so it's another stack day. 60K in chips, that includes your add-on and your uh, early bird bonus, which means if you register before 2 p.m., you get an extra 10K in chips. If you register after 2 p.m. or once the tournament starts, you can do a double add-on, 20 bucks, and get the same starting stack. So it's a discount if you get there early for your stack. Basically, we'll buy you Mickey's if you show up. Um, early, not late. Come late, you're just on your own. Um, so stack day... It's a possibility, I'm not gonna officially say, but being that Thursday Night Poker has made its return, we need to make sure we have enough footage from the TV table to post every Thursday night with a premiere commentary from your favorite podcasting buddies, Brandon and Ken, Ken and Brandon, you know them from the overlay, we know them from Thursday Night Poker. I know him because he's me, one, one half of it, so it's great. Um, maybe I'll make Brandon do vlogs and he can like have a Brandon vlog and he probably won't do it. Um, there's a night poker. So with that being said, it's a good possibility that I bring the table on Saturday night to, uh, record the stack final table. We'll see. Not a promise. Please don't yell at me if we don't, because that brings us to Sunday. Um, so Saturday tournament, the only feature tournament is the only tournament of the day, which is the stack tournament 2 p.m. We do have a single table $55 tournament on Saturday night. It has gotten off every Saturday, seven players plus three alternates. That's all that they're doing. They start selling a half an hour beforehand. So 55 bucks, $5 add-on, $60 all day. They do last outs, three alternates, blah, blah, blah. It's great, come out and see us. Um, stack tournament may be televised. We'll see how it goes. Brings us all the way down to Sunday. Sunday is at the Bridgeview Community Center. Uh, you got a noon um, 250 big bounty. There has been some conjecture on, it's really my fault, I've made a few mistakes. It is 30K in, uh, 30K in chips, 20 minute levels. We're not gonna change to 25, and here's why. It's a $250 buy-in, which is a pretty hefty buy-in, but 50 of it is the bounty tournament. Only 170 goes into the prize pool, $30 is what the hosting charity keeps. The reason I'm gonna stick with the 20 minute levels is because even right now, that tournament and the structure plays so deep that the noon tournament is not getting finished until eight or nine. If we add five minutes to levels five, six and up, like you're looking at like 10 or 10.30. That extra five minutes, it really does affect when they get to the final table and I just feel like that's a lot you know, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know if you guys disagree. Um, I 100% I will always try to listen to you, but as of right now, I think that's that's pretty good. The noon bounty on a Sunday to run until like a 12 hour tournament is, is probably gonna hurt the prize pool more than just doing 20 minute levels. So 20 minute levels is what we're gonna go with. It's on the website, I'm saying it now today, so hopefully I won't screw it up anywhere else. If I do, please let me know. 20 minute levels, that's the featured tournament of the Sunday. Actually it's not, but it's featured for me. Um, Sunday, you also have four o'clock a 115. Again, that's a single table, so you're gonna get seven players plus three alternates. That has fired the last three or four weekends. And then Sunday night is everybody's favorite tournament to close the weekend. It is the $50 Sunday special, the biggest bang for your buck, the most chips for your poker playing privilege. I don't know, I was trying to think of a cool saying there, nothing came out. Sunday night, 6.30 p.m. start. $50 Sunday special, 20 cane chips with the $10 add-on, 15 minute levels, three to four tables at Bridgeview, should be a good turnout. Cash game players, thank you as always for making that trip up to um, Hilton Garden. The $200 early bird giveaway was just for the Hilton, it's something we're gonna pop off here and now, but it's only for specific weekends. So if you do not see me mention it specifically, it's not happening. But the high hand is still happening. Two, day, uh, two times a day, so twice on Friday, twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday, you will do the $200 high hand. Whatever the high hand is at 7 p.m. 
is what the high hand is. Same thing, it starts over and goes until midnight. What that means is, and it did kind of come up, and it's something that's come up a few times, and I've mentioned it every single time, and it's in all of our social media and on the website, but I want to give you guys as much information as possible. For the high hand, the high hand ends at 6.59 and 59 seconds. As soon as your iPhone watch, which is the most accurate watch we can find at the moment, as soon as that bad mamma jamma says 7 p.m., high hand is over, and it does not matter when the hand started, it matters when the hand ends, and more importantly, it matters when they yell over verify. So when somebody calls the floor over for somebody to verify that the high hand is what it is, and then they'll say, yep, you're good for the high hand, quad jacks is the new high hand for the midnight drawing. Because even though it's 7.01 and you're, you go, oh man, the, 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 the hand started before seven, doesn't matter. You have to finish the hand and get it verified, or at least call to verify. You don't have to actually wait for the floor to come over, but you gotta yell, verify, hands gotta be over before 7 p.m., no ifs, ands, or buts. It's like Cinderella at the ball, midnight hits, ball's over. 7 p.m. Mid hits, ball's over for that one. You just, that's the way we're timing it. It's the most fair and unique way to do it so that we can make sure everybody is fairly paid for those high hands. So it is what it is. Uh, one three, um, all, all three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the games start before 2 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, really around 1.45. Sundays, they start right at noon. They open up registration and selling of chips a half an hour before the open of the event. So 1.30 on Friday and Saturday, 11.30 on Sunday. Um, PLO is a very good chance for Friday afternoon starting at 3 p.m. So if you're interested in PLO, text me, hit me up. You want to play one three any of those times and know you're coming text me get on the list it makes life easier for everybody i don't add you to any kind of text list i won't text you anything at all occasionally i'll mistakenly text you an emoji that i meant to send a thumbs up and i send you like an eggplant it's a it's a mistake i didn't mean to do that and i won't text you any other times i promise uh and then sunday um more than likely we will fire two five so if you're interested in other games i know one one guys i'm looking out for you Numbers are trending correctly. We're getting closer to that 250 person uh, events, which means 1-1 one, one can come back. So try my best, I promise. As soon as we can get a little bit better turnout for 1-1 one, one players, we will bring you back. Don't miss Thursday Night Poker. Thank you as always for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are at 803 subscribers. Got a little boost after the Titan uh, final table made it, you know, the stage was all set. People kind of came out for it. So. Um, come out and see us. Let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Comment if you have questions. See you next time. Bye, everybody.